Well, it was a great flight today. We took off this morning, climbed to uh, 9,000 feet, uh, deployed the lift system uh, for the first time in flight, and uh, switched to our Stovall flight control laws. And then towards the end of the flight, we uh, went ahead and did our flow switch transition, where we switched the uh, thrust uh, from cruise nozzle to lift nozzle. It was transparent to me uh, that I actually had switched from conventional to stowable mode. Um, when we did the flow switch uh, from the cruise nozzle to the lift nozzles, very smooth, no uh, aircraft uh, pitch or roll transients at all. Uh, very easy to get in and out of uh, stowable and very easy to get in and out of uh, cruise nozzle and lift nozzle. Cruise nozzle flows down uh, and the lift nozzle butterfly valves open in less than three seconds, which is exactly what we uh, designed them to do. Uh, the whole uh, uh, deployment of the lift system and the flow switch from cruise to lift nozzle uh, took place in less than six seconds. And uh, that's really important because that demonstrates the uh, operational flexibility of our system. That's one of the key advantages of a direct lift system is that the uh, workload is low, the uh, mode switching should be transparent to the pilot, which it was today. Out of the full burner, can't match those uh, accelerations. Three flow switch. Flow switching.